With fall sports starting to wrap up, Globe Sports took a look at men's and women's soccer as well as women's volleyball to check in on their season and get a feel for the postseason picture. Women's soccer lost the University of St. Francis on Wednesday, dropping them to 1-9-4 and and four overall, 0-4-2 in conference play. Obviously, from a results perspective, it hasn't gone the way we want to this point. You know, it's been some tough results. The positive is, and, and we were talking about this last night after a tough loss, was, you know, the how proud I am of the players because of their character. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of teams and a lot of players that just would fold and, and um, not keep going. Um, but if you watch us play, that's not the case. GC currently sits 10th in conference, but behind three other teams without conference wins, with three games remaining, a win or two might be enough to propel them to the postseason. If you're talking about outcome goals, the outcome is to get into the playoffs and see what happens. We still have that chance. It's, it's, it's crazy and wild. We could, we win on Saturday, we could jump to 6th in the conference. Men's soccer also lost to the University of St. Francis on Wednesday, dropping them to 3-7-5 and seven and five overall, 0-4-2 oh, in conference. I mean, ultimately, we're still not getting the results that we'd like to see. Uh, if you're just looking at the byline of the scores at the end of the day, right, where the schedule is or where we are on the crossroads. Uh, but we're showing improvement. Uh, we've got a couple more wins, some more ties. Like we are finding the back of the net, scoring, scoring more goals this year than we did last year. The men sit 10th in conference with only three games left. They would have to win at least two out of three and hope for some key losses in order to make the playoffs. Women's volleyball is 6-22 and in the season, 1-11 and in conference. They're coming off a loss to St. Francis on Wednesday and haven't won a set in over a month when they beat St. Francis in straight sets on September 14th. We've seen progress. We still have a really young team. So in terms of growth and improvement and things like that, there are definitely pieces and players. Armani Gidry Austin has been a really bright spot in the middle as a freshman. Ava Egoff has been really good and, and started most of the year for us. And obviously, somebody like Sadie Brenneman, kind of as an anchor, as a senior. Goshen currently sits tied for ninth in the Crossroads League. With six games left, it's a chance they could sneak into the postseason. We think we have a couple opportunities. Obviously, we got St. Francis on Saturday. Um, we'll play Bethel again. Um, so we have a couple other chances where we think we can, you know, we can put a good match on the court and have a chance to win. Um, and then there's some matches. Obviously, we want to see growth. We want to see improvement. We want to see us kind of peaking right at the end of the season, regardless of, of who we're playing. For Globe Sports, I'm Tyson Miller.